Not really dealt with. Was that a handball? It's 2-1 Scarborough. Scarborough have taken the lead again. Referee and the two teams are following out of the tunnel. Scarborough as ever in their traditional red. And Kettering in green shirt, shorts and socks. And even the goalkeeper's uh, strip is green. Hmm. A different shade of green. <laughs> different sponsor as well. So both teams are uh, just shaking hands now. As, uh, is accustomed to all the uh, matches wherever in the pyramid you watch the team. So uh, little high fives and handshakes with the officials as well. The young mascots are out with the Scarborough team cheering on the uh, crowd here at Flamingo Land Stadium. Goalkeeper's penalty area, so that is a threat all alone to itself. So he's having a good run up at this. He is going to launch this into the keeper's area. Here it goes. He's driven in lovely. There's no win. He's got a little back head onto it. Scarborough still getting hold of it and going into it. But it's um, Coulson too high there. And an early shot or an early warning for um, Kettering. Just look, I'm looking the uh, division so far. Still no goals that I can see at the moment. But Coulson now on the right-hand side, but it's going to be um, Gascoigne. Gets the ball just outside the area. Covell just um, clamping down on the uh, midfield stroke defence, but it's a long ball there up to um, the number 15, Sam Bennett. is one-on-one -on -one with the keeper. Lovely um, save there. He got a foot to it, did um, Joe Cracknell. Well, that could have been a certain goal for the visitors there. And I think they're looking for a corner. They, they do have a good option to have a corner, but it is now declared the corner for Kettering. Burton takes the throw in over to Jackson. Just get ahead onto it. Can Coville bring it down? He gets it to Coulson. Coulson just trying to get round the plate. He toe pokes it. And it's going to be a free kick for Scarborough in a really good position. Just outside the penalty area. Have a look. Will Coulson take this or will uh, Maloney? So Coulson, Maloney still there with him. Little wall of four men for Kettering, and it is Maloney taking it, and it's in there. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Scarborough one 0 up at the moment. Maloney with the strike, it's hit the roof of the um, crossbar uh, the keeper went in the right direction he just couldn't get his hand to it and Scarborough 1-0 up at the moment pretty early in this game still a lot of football to be played I do normally get a bit nervous when Scarborough do score early so a throw in here for um, Kettering oh a little trip again there by Salt no free kick this time. Maloney now drills the ball over to um, his ex Whitby Town and Middlesbrough teammate who we're playing on Wednesday. Colville now on his right hand side. He's um, going to bring it over to Maloney. Is Maloney going to strike? No, he's um, going to bring it. Oh, he's going to strike. He's going to get it to Wellergy. That should be an offside. No, it isn't. Wellergy has a shot. He's going to have another go. It's hit the head. Scarborough's still having to go again here. And it's now to um, Jackson who will strike this. Oh, and he's just gone wide. Oh, 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 calamitous in the um, catcher in defence there, but it was pinging around like a pinball, that was. The uh, ball, it, it was hitting people's faces, catcher in, uh, we're just trying our best to get rid of the ball. The keeper was flapping everywhere, but it's still 1-0 here. Wellergy, yeah, they were looking for the offside. There's Cornell McDonald with the throw in here on the left-hand side. Another Derby lad. It's now over to uh, Ward. Lovely ball to Salt. Will he stay on his feet this time? He has a strike. Ooh, high. He stayed on his feet, though. That's a good thing. <laughs> it's now Kieran Glynn. Gets it over on to the left-hand side to Jackson. Jackson delivers a cross here. Oh, he's um, let bounce to Wellergy. Wellergy now taps it to Maloney. Maloney has a strike. 
and it's wide. Give me one more, something, but no, no. But anyway, played short from. Is it? Oh, Zarari took the corner. He's now gone over to Maloney. He's just got away with him, but he's going to have another crack at that. But it's um, beaten off. Um, I think it's his opposite number, um, the um, Lewis White. I think it might not have been White, but it's now um, a run here for Keaton Ward. He's got it all the way up to the edge of the um, Scarborough penalty area. A little one-two. I don't think he meant that. Did Sam Bennett back to Ward, and Burton has stolen the ball off him. So really good attack for the visitors, but um, it just. Um, Failed and now they're all it's like it's like a under fives game where they're all kicking the ball at each other there. Coulson now on the ball. Gets it over to Wellergy. Wellergy cuts it out, he's got it in it, past the player. Oh, he's gonna have a shot. Oh, saved there by Fultz. And he's gathered it up there as Harrison, the uh, catching keeper, to stop any corner there. But it was a good um, good effort. Jackson now. I don't know if he's going to go. He is going to go long. It looked like he was going to go short. Greening's uh, trying to acknowledge someone to come a bit closer, but he is going to go into this. Here's Jackson, header. Oh, just away from uh, Bailey Good at Harari now gets a head onto it. Little header now from um, Thornton, and it's going to be a goal! Kieran Willoughby again! <laughs> so it's a guarantee Saturday, and Willoughby will score. 2 0. Important header there from Thornton. And as Willoughby, I think he struck it on his foot. It's gone underneath the keeper, Harrison Falk. Scarborough 2-0 at the moment. Here, and they're looking really good. Zarari now on the ball, the Tunisian lad, and it's going to be a good save there by Folk, but Colville's going to have a trick. Oh, and it's going to go wide for a corner. Scarborough with a corner, is that? Colville taking it. Yep, there we go. Lovely one there. Oh! 3 0 for Scarborough. A lovely header there by Karen Burton. His first goal for the club. Lovely cross from the corner there from Coville. Sets it up for Burton. You can see his locks just glistening in the sun as he jumped up and he got his nut on the end of that and it's in the back of the net. It was too fast and hard for folks at point blank. And Scarborough are 3-0 up here at the Flamingo Land Stadium. Anyway. Wellergy now with the ball. Now over to uh, McDonald. Ooh, Coulson now wins it. Lovely cheeky little pass there from um, Glint. Oh, the one two didn't work, but Coville will pick it up. Gets it to Harari. He's going to have a shot. He's going to uh, tap it to Wellergy. Will he have a shot? No. He's going to give it to Coulson. Coulson now on his right hand side to Kieran Glint. He's going to bring oh, a little step over there from Glynn. He's going to bring it to the penalty area. It's going in. Oh, yeah, nearly an own goal there by uh, Lewis White. Corner though for Scarborough. Corner for the home team. <laughs> oh. Yeah, I think in, um, I'm just hearing the um, catching um, guys. Oh, lovely little um, ball there from Sheriff. He's chipped over Cracknell's goal. And that is half time. But header there by um, Ketrin will um, give Arari a look in there, but um, it's beaten away there by um, number five, Ben Tosland. But it's fallen to Scarborough's Ryan Watson. Struggling to get hold of that one, though. 
Lovely ball there over to Coville and quite a bit of space on the right hand side. Now gives it over to Watson. Watson has a strike. Oh, the save. He did slip though, did Watson, when he struck that one. It's going to be a corner for Scarborough. And I can see Mugucki getting all the ball from Coville. He's going to, oh, he's going to have a shot. Oh, good save, and it's going to be a corner. Lovely little shoot and turn there, just outside the area. Racing down them wings. He's not in, he's not a centre back at the moment. And uh, free kick for Scarborough there. As uh, Coulson has a heavy challenge. So uh, Maloney will take this free kick. Scarborough still 3 0 up at the moment. Ball over to Watson on the far side, who's uh, now playing right back, and uh, McGuckin is onside still. And as they're going for a, a cross here, oh, and it's fallen here to Coulson. Coulson in the drink! Coulson with the fourth goal! 4 0 here at the Flamingo Land Stadium. Coulson now with the fourth. Who needs Harlem when you've got Coulson? And Wellington. <laughs> Lovely uh, ball there from Coulson. He took his time with it. And um, Scarborough now with the fourth goal of the afternoon here. Throwing from Jackson. Looking for Thornton. Gets a little back onto it. He's stuck between his legs. He's going to now give it over to Gooder. No. And he's still with Scarborough at the moment. Or is um, Bramwell going to leave it? It's going to be another throw for Scarborough. Scarborough take the throw in quickly, it's now with um, Colville. Colville now brings it to Bramwell, back to Colville. Little back heel there to Bramwell, frees him up a bit more, gives it to Jackson who's in the centre of the pitch here, he's going to have a strike from distance. Oh! What a strike from Jackson! 25 yards out into the bottom left hand corner, right hand corner or left wherever you are. But a lovely strike there from Jackson. There you go, baby Zach. Five goals for you. <laughs> 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 oh, no. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I'm not bothered about the goal. Who passed to him? I don't know. <laughs> Lovely strike from Jackson. <laughs> Probably, I've got to be honest, for the first time this afternoon, the home fans <laughs> are now making a little bit of noise. <laughs> and um, Watson gets the ball away and it's now to McGuckin. Oh, he's keeping it, oh, it could be six. Fox is way off his line here. McGuckin now has a strike. Oh, Fox has got hold of it. Cheers from the home crowd as they're just passing it around. Coville now, also another player's played really well, Coville and Maloney. As um, Coville just has a little snap at the ankles there. And um, I don't know what, but I think Scarborough got a free kick, but I think they wanted to play it quickly. Still cheers from the home crowd as um, Scarborough keep possession, they're just passing it about here. I don't think they're looking for number six, but Coulson now. Oh, trying to feed it to McGuckin. He's going to be offside. He's going to have a strike. He's got it in the back of the net. I think he's going to play it short. Coulson wants to play it. He does. To Maloney. Now to Coulson. Oh, that was, I think we should have whipped that one in, lads. But anyway, Bramwell now gets hold of the ball. Feeds it to Coulson. Coulson now uh, gets it to Watson. Watson was, oh, is he? Oh, I thought it was primed and ready to shoot from distance as well. 
Kerville now. Oh, it's off the post! Kerville! Oh, she's like a shooting gallery at the moment. And um, now Thornton. Scarborough played really well in defence, solid at the back, even though they played most of this with three men at the back to start with a formation. They're looking now on the ball, gives it to Glynn, the man of the match. Now Maloney. Maloney's seen the keeper off his line. Oh! And the keeper has actually, has he kept it in? I don't think he did, but the um, linesman was uh, way off it, but. Oh. Oh, very. Just seeing him off his line, he's, um, they've had a couple of goals at it. He's come off his line a couple of times. To uh, Maloney, Maloney now forcing this forwards. You can see Watson, Watson on the overlap. Watson now with the ball back to Maloney. Scarborough really taking the time. They don't need to hurry about this. They don't have to chase the game. We can see this one out, but Maloney's now going in there into the penalty area. But it's now taken away there by uh, McDonald. And that is the final whistle. Scarborough win today with the three points. Keep the pressure on everyone else in the um, playoffs at the moment. Scarborough five, Catching Town nil. Goal from Maloney, Wellergy, Burton, Coulson, and a fantastic goal to round things off for the fifth one. Ashley Jackson. It's been a tremendous afternoon, a five-star afternoon for um, Scarborough Athletic.